Welcome to the five part of the series where I describe how I painted this painting portrait of Princess Drahomira. Today it will be skin colors that I started painting from the neck and upper chest. I turned the painting upside down again so I could painting while sitting. Here you can already see the distribution of colors on the palette. Is the answer for those who ask if skin tones can be painted from the three basic colors and white. Uh, you can mix a lot with just three colors, but not everything. So I prefer to have a variety of different pigments because each one has slightly different specific properties. Here I am already putting the first strokes which all paint. I start with a thin layer, but without any medium because it will be an alla prima painting and the presence of medium would increase the translucency of the paint. I follow up the plastic base which is previously painted in acrylic. From the beginning I try to put the final color on each spot. So I don't use the procedure where the basic body tone is applied first and other colors are mixed into it. Sometimes I even use titanium white from the start, but it has to be where I don't want to end up with deep shadows. The light of the setting sun fell on the model, so plasticity is not only determined by light and dark, and also by significant differences in the color temperature of lit and dark nan places. There is a lot of orange in the highlights and a lot of blue, green and grey in the shadows. I sort through several types of brushes. For starters I am but natural and synthetic bristle brush. I alternate them not only for strength and shape but also because I have a darker color on one, a lighter color on another, a warmer color on one and a cooler color on another. I mostly avoid the usual procedure where the painter first uses a coarser brush and then polish the painting with a fine hairbrush. I use softer hairbrush to finish the painting but in such a way that the brush strokes remain visible in the painting. So I also add another color with a higher brush. In the final I have a lot of small spots on the palette because I'm constantly expanding the number of shades in the painting. Also many are mixed directly in the painting. I consider the grey shades to be an important contrast, especially here where there is a grey wall in the background but it must definitely be a deliberate mixing, not the grace that arise unintentionally in the painting. Many people paint the skin in very warm colors and grey and cold shades are missing in the painting. Towards the end I apply soft reflections, here I also use hatching so the surface is not too smooth. It's not only about the right color and the right brush that matters, but also about the pressure of the brush. Uh, the painting requires the most concentration during finishing. This phase would easily lead to painting small details, but we must constantly perceive the wall and large areas and subtle contrast that take place in the painting. You always need to think about the anatomy of the site. But sometimes it helps to look at the surface like an abstract scene or landscape. And that will help us understand some shapes and shadows. Even if we only paint a part of the painting, we always need to think about how everything fits into the wall. It would be easy to paint a neck that looks good on its own, but doesn't match the rest of the painting. 
There is no one-size-fits-all recipe for mixing skin tones. Of course there are basic types like a brown red base to which we add other colors but in reality it's a myriad of combinations because everyone has a slightly different complexion. In addition the lighting conditions are slightly different every time and we must not forget other factors such as the color of the clothes and which will affect the composition of the colors in the skin. It is therefore not essential to find the right guide, but to observe the world and its diversity. Many of you have surely come across the advice of teachers who say that you need to paint wall picture at once. This is true when you learn to choose the right intensity and shade of color. However, technologically, it's much better to paint the finished pieces a la prima, which is why I chose this procedure. And besides, I like this procedure. In the next part, there will be painting of eyes and nose. Thank you for likes and subscribes. And see you in the next video. Have a nice day.